when's the last time you bought a steering wheel for your car? Do you remember how much you paid for it? A hundred bucks? Two hundred? Well, our good friends at AIM just sent us this amazing four thousand dollar steering wheel. Now, Robert, when's the last time you bought a steering wheel for your car? Sheesh. Too long to count, <laughs> honestly. Well, let me tell you something. My first car, a 1998 Honda Civic, cost me $4,000. So that means that if I had bought this one for my car, I would have doubled the value of that car. So let's see what's inside. I'm really excited about it. I mean, this is not Formula One, but it's, you know, close. So go ahead and get started there. Now, how heavy is it? So it's pretty hefty. It's got some, I want to say, oh, a couple pounds. Oh, yeah, I've seen it. Legit, man. Look at this. So this is the AIM SW4. Uh, this is a 350 millimeter, so it's the largest size they have. And it comes with the uh, connections to the Kent bus and everything else. So you can connect your car directly. And from here, you have all these push buttons and the switches, rotary switches, which allow you to fully control everything in your car. And then a beautiful five inch display uh, that you can hook up to all the signals from the ECU in your car. So uh, another thing pretty cool about this steering wheel is that you can actually program this button should be uh, a toggle switch or a monetary switch. So they're fully controllable and programmable. Now, only if we could see what's inside, right? Right. Well, guess what? We have an X-ray machine right here. Oh my goodness. So this is a true count which is a X-ray parts counter, but it has a really nice big 17 inch by 17 inch detector. So we're gonna use that as an imager to look at this whole unit. Let's take an image. Yeah, this one is a uh, touch screen. Look how nice that is. A few seconds. Wow, that's our X-ray of the whole steering wheel. So let's uh, change the histogram a little bit so we can have a better uh, contrast in this image. And look how cool that is. Actually, they should have a sticker of the X-ray. Yeah. On the back. Right? Yeah, that's just so I can cool. see it. That would be cool. I'll buy that. So here's some of the, uh, let me zoom in in this area. As you can see, this uh, winglet here on the side, you can unscrew them. You can see the uh, three screws here on the corners. So you can actually remove them and place new ones or change the, the texture of the, um, of, you know, the, the holders in the side of the steering wheel. And um, let me zoom in. Oh, that's pretty cool. So um, here are the screws, the interface to the uh, uh, steering, uh, steering shaft here in the back. So those are the screws that bolt that to the quick release on the steering shaft. Uh, you can see, we can actually remove this now, so I can show you, see what you see here. And the cool thing is how things look better in the actuary, right? How they're actually built. So we're looking at this right this way, right? So this little, let me zoom in here so you can see them. Then those little devices you can see is the NP junction of the LEDs right here under the display, right? So that's... So there's all the uh, uh, LEDs right here in this row. So those are the LEDs here on the bottom. And you should remember seeing this when we do teardowns of uh, uh, iPads and iPhones and things like that, laptops. There's a bunch of these things laying around. Uh, let me zoom out again so you can have a whole perspective. Quite a bit of electronics right behind the display. So there's two big BGAs right here and here. Uh, this is probably the controller and the memory right there uh, for the unit. Uh, that right there, right here, is the connector that wraps around to connect the display to the motherboard. Uh, and of course, you have the whole set of uh, push buttons here on the, in the periphery of the steering wheel and the rotary switches uh, on the bottom here. As you can see the three rotary switches. That's what they look like. They actually improve a little bit near display so you can see you can see the rotary switch there and as you can see there are leds uh, all around the switch which they're right there which mark uh turn on as you rotate the switch to different positions so pretty cool 
definitely high-end products, incredibly well built, beautifully made, and uh, uh, we can't wait to find a car to put this on, right, Robert? Yeah, that's gonna add like what, 50 horsepower or something? At least. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. And again, if you come across anything else you'd like to see X-rayed, just give us a call. Bye.